Hey church family, do you ever feel unworthy to approach God? The book of Hebrews was written to a group of people who were taught to feel this way. The book of Hebrews was written to Jewish people. Having been raised in the sacrificial system of Old Testament Judaism, they were reminded each year of their unworthiness to approach God. At least once a year, they were required to bring a sacrifice to the temple to atone for their sins. But they couldn't bring that sacrifice directly to God. They brought the sacrifice to the priest, who then offered it to God. The truth is that on our own, we are unworthy to approach God. But in Hebrews chapters 8 through 10, the author has been teaching us a greater truth. He teaches us that Jesus was the perfect and final sacrifice, that through his death he atoned for the sins of humanity once for all. And because of his atoning sacrifice, we now have direct access to the Father. The author put it this way in Hebrews 10, 19 through 21. Therefore, brothers, since we have confidence to enter the holy places by the blood of Jesus, by the new and living way that he opened for us through the curtain, that is, through his flesh, and since we have a great priest over the house of God, the greater truth is that when we believe in Christ and when we are found in him, we put on his worthiness, obtained by his perfect sacrifice, and we are enabled to approach God with confidence. So how do we live out of this great truth? The author of Hebrews gives us three instructions in Hebrews 10, 22 through 25. He writes, Let us draw near with a true heart in full assurance of faith with our hearts sprinkled clean from an evil conscience and our bodies washed with pure water. Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering for he who promised is faithful. And let us consider how to stir up one another to love and good works, not neglecting to meet together as the habit of some, but encouraging one another, and all the more as you see the day drawing near. As you read about and remember Christ's perfect sacrifice today, let us draw near, let us hold fast, and let us consider how to stir one another to love and good deeds as we continue to gather together. Enjoy your time with Jesus today.